Hey guys, and welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're jumping back into some more better Minecraft. So the mod pack has updated. We are now in a updated release or somewhat final release version of this mod pack. And uh, well, some mods were added and we have access to a couple of new dimensions. I'm kind of excited about this. Um, so one of them is called the Blue Skies mod. And um, I still have to figure out how to get into this dimension, but there may be something here in the quest. I have no idea. Also, we just got a whole lot of stuff. I guess the quest unlocked. We just ended up getting two nether stars. The end. Wow, we got a whole lot. There was a lot of changes here, apparently. Overworld, deep dark. Okay. So basically things that didn't have quests that we had completed, they had added new rewards to, I guess. And so we have gotten those rewards. Interesting. We just got another dragon egg and two nether stars. I can't complain. I have yet to kill the wither and I have now a bunch of nether stars. So it looks like we have a couple of uh, new dimensions. Of course, we have the Everbright and the Ever Dawn, and we need to get to these uh, these dimensions. And it looks like we have dungeon keys, kill summoner, kill the uh, the spirit. What is that? The Starlit Crusher. Okay, so we have some stuff that we have to do apparently. Um, now to get to those dimensions, though, I I'm gonna have to probably. Uh, check out the the wiki of the mod because the the quests still don't really give you a direction as far as what you need in order to complete some of those tasks so this book right here kind of gives hints uh, we need to find the gatekeeper and stop anyone uh powerful or stop any more powerful creatures being created so to get into this mod we have to find a gatekeeper which is going to be a structure that's in the overworld and we need to basically find that and do some trading so I have a couple of emeralds. I still probably would prefer to have a few more emeralds. We have a lot of iron. I'm trying to think of things that we can trade. Uh, that Yeah, that we could trade a lot of to potentially get. Oh, man, we have a lot of hay. So if we could find a villager to trade up hay. We, I mean, we have quite a few emeralds, but we're going to have to see. Um, of course, waystones are always going to be a thing that we need to bring with us as well so we can put one at the gatekeeper. So I was looking for new chunks uh, to generate and I believe I found those new chunks. Uh, apparently within this update, looks like the world gen has definitely had some uh, some changes happen to it, but that's okay. Right here we have something. This is not, I, I don't think that was intended to be <laughs> buried in the ground that way. Cause I can just pop up here. I think this is the, uh, the top. Look at all those apples. We can trade apples for emeralds here I am after a specific thing and I'm running into this oh yeah even more apples I don't even know what this is returning boarding we got a, a guy over there shooting at us pillager I'm good awesome I think all the good loot was up top with all the apples <laughs> the fact that this is buried underground I don't think that was an intentional I, I have no idea though all right time to find this gatekeeper that is the thing I'm after. Also, every time I hit one of these towers, I'm gonna try and grab the waystones from them. I don't remember seeing any towers last time, but there's a tower right here. It's got gold blocks in it. I, I believe there are some chests. Oh, there's also Vex. Ooh, I forgot about these. These are Vex spawners. A Vex spawner right here. How about no? Ow. Okay. Buried dungeon map. Okay, I am definitely taking that. Um, And the name tag. And also the phantom membrane. Why not? I'm always... Oh, look at all the phantom membranes. Well, that's kind of worth it in itself. Maybe I should go down lower? Oh, it's just zombies. What are these guys going to do to me? Oh, there's a... Yeah, that's 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 kind of a problem. Look, he done trapped himself. Like, he... <sighs> yeah, he done trapped himself. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, there's a... 
a lot of good stuff in this chest. These are all new, newly generated structures and stuff. So maybe uh, there might be different loot tables and stuff in these now. This structure looks a little bit odd as well. Man, I'm finding all these things and completely missing out on the gatekeeper. RS Igloos. Huh. Is there going to be something hidden underneath here? Or is it just literally just for rest? Just so we can take a break. Huh. Look at that. They have a little area to let, uh, let the fire out. I didn't know smoke could travel through fence posts. Or, or what? Huh. Is that a vanilla thing? That's kind of cool. Now, this building seems new. I have not seen this thing yet. So I have no idea what this is or this. Except for being super cool looking. Ow, we took a lot of damage there. Okay, that looks a little roughed up. Man, there's a lot of cool stuff over here. Let's go check this out first. So right away, we have this cool looking villager. Oh, this is the gatekeeper. This is exactly what we're looking for. How are you doing, dude? Bruh, let's, let's, uh, okay, so we need this lighter. And then we can go ahead and get the blue journal. We need a book. Um, do I have a book on me? Check my inner chest. Book. Ooh, I have a book in here. Let's just trade him a book. Thank you, my dude. Uh, do you unlock any other trades or are you just locked here? You don't have a level, so I guess that's just it. That's pretty cool. Okay. We also have this treasure map that I want to I want to loot as well. Okay, so this is what we need to light the portals apparently to get to these dimensions. This will be something that we end up doing. Let's check the house though. Is there anything uh, worthwhile in here? Any loot? Pretty uh interesting looking home, just kind of your typical little house here. Weird that the carpet raises up one here. I guess oh, cuz the rest of it's just wool. Okay. Well, anyways, this house over here looks new to me. I've also never experienced this. I guess once we've gone to the gatekeeper, we don't really need to come back again. Like, I'm going to buy another one of these just in case. Um, it, like, consumes the whole thing because I don't know how the, how it works. That's going to be pretty cool. Okay, let's store these in our bag. Also, the journal. We can open this up and check it out. Okay. Uh, check your inventory. Is there... Oh, we have a journal tag. Oh, that's kind of cool. So it talks about Everbright Portal. Okay. Interesting. The entrance to the Everbright Dimension, the portal is made of turquoise stone bricks and can be lit with the zeal lighter. Um, it seems the Everbright is constant, constantly day, but it's somehow always bright and cold. Are brittle and cold. Okay, so... Does this explain how to make the portal? Like, do we just find those blocks? I'm kind of... That's what I gotta figure out. So, this is a bit confusing. I thought I was gonna go here, but I started reading more on the Curse Forge page for this mod, and, uh... There's a couple of hidden instructions here. Apparently, in this house... There is stuff that... There is an actual portal. Oh, look at that. There, there's a portal here somewhere. I just have to find it. What is this? Oh, I bet that's where it's at. I bet that's exactly where it's at. Um, I can just place down a block, right? Let's put down some hay bells. <laughs> right there. Let's not shift lock. There we go. Oh, there it is. Okay. And this has moonstone. I don't think that's needed, but I can I can break this and take this with me, right? Yes. Also taking the moonstone with me. Okay, so this is the only way that we can find this particular stuff then, I guess. So we have to find maybe another one of these to be able to maybe find another one of these structures to be able to get into the uh the Everbright. Hmm, because that was a portal that's a lunar store. Stone, that's the one for the dawn. Ever dawn? Yeah, ever dawn. Hmm. I have no idea what this bird is doing, but it is definitely moving in slow motion. <laughs> what in the world? I mean, that 
looks like a, I'm not seeing anything like that. I don't know if that's from the, the Alex mod or if that's for something from something else. Kind of looks like the Firebird from Alex mod. I have no idea. I did notice over here, though, there are some uh, invisible fellas <laughs> with some bows uh, that are lingering. Lost for words. Oh, yeah. Look at these invisible. What? Invisibility 2. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's going to be that kind of loot. Ah, okay. A lot of armor on these guys. Are there, is there a spawner that this is coming from? Gotta be a spawner. Right? I love how they just sort of stick around. They're not even really fighting me. <laughs> oh, Wither Rose! Yes! I mean, they're shooting arrows at me, but they're not doing a lot of damage. I'm just gonna go ahead and loot all your stuff. Sorry. There's a, du there's a map. Okay. Dungeon Arise Masonry map. Okay. I will take that. <laughs> don't mind me, guys. I'm just looting all your stuff. I mean, literally, don't mind me. I'm not uh, just minding my own business. You know, just my doing my own thing. I'll be gone. <laughs> so I was just flying over this area, and apparently there's an ice wizard here. Unless it's this. What? So I was looking for another gatekeeper. There are two ice wizards. I don't understand where those are coming from. This is definitely another gatekeeper's house, though. Okay. Hoping with this one being in a colder biome, that's where I was looking was colder biomes, because it did say that the other areas are cold. I don't want to trade with you. I just want to find your portal, which is right here. Okay, so this one has a dark portal as well. I'm almost wondering, do we need to find, go through the dark portal first to get to the light? Don't know how that works. I have no idea where this ice wizard thing's coming from, but this right here, making some awfully weird noises. These structures are right here for some reason. Man, it's making some weird noises, like, as if there's, like, uh, something here. That's creepy. I'm out of here. Never mind, I found the I, I found the ice wizard. I found the ice wizard. I can confirm, ice wizard has been found. <laughs> I landed here and I was like, wait, this is weird. This is a weird structure. Yeah, this is an ice wizard place. Okay, there's an ice dragon egg here. You know what, I'm gonna eat this just... Just to make sure we don't die, because that was, uh, that was not good. Okay, uh, let's open our chest. I'm going to throw some stuff in here that we 100% don't need. Check all these chests, because there's actually some decent loot in here. And I have not seen the Ice Wizard. I Apparently it teleported after hitting me. Wow, those are some really good books. Let's hope we don't blow up or there's anything trapped down here. Um, I think that's it. Like, th it's literally just this tower. It's the only tower I had seen. Where did this wizard go, though? Couldn't have gone far, right? Or maybe it just completely, like, poofed itself. No, I found it. I found it. It's right here. Please drop some good stuff worth taking lightning damage for. I am just getting struck by lightning. It's not really doing much damage. Maybe because of my absorption. But, get away from the fire. I want your drops to burn. Ow. The knockback is crazy. What do we get? An ice amulet from permafrost biome. Ooh. Unlimited power. Does this strike lightning onto things? Because that would be kind of cool. I don't really want to do it to villagers and lose my trust. But we could test it on other things. Let's test it on this unsuspecting spooter. Oh, it's trade up. Lightning fies them. What? That could totally be used to our advantage? Oh boy, charge creeper. Like, for example, charging a creeper. Or does it not? 
Did that teleport to me? Wait, it didn't charge it. It doesn't give it like an actual lightning effect. Oh, okay. Well, that's strange. Oh, it would have been much better if it was like a real lightning. I'm finding so many cool things. Look at this. There's just an airship up here. What? With a really long, like fake ladder. Also, what is this? What are you? Kind of special zombie over here shooting snowballs at me. Frozen zombie, that's super cool. I gotta find somewhere to sleep so we can, oh, I wanna get up there. I wanna see what that is. So after a good night's rest, let's check this thing out. Okay, so does this have a guy here? I'm kind of confused. Barely made it. There is a mob right there. Um, man, I would hate to just bust into your balloon like this. But we're going to have to because there's no way for me to just get there. Easily, anyways. What is this? This is just smooth quartz. That's just quartz. How cool is that? I'm sorry, but you've got to go. You, you've got... No, no. You've got to go. Thank you. Okay, so I need to drop down here. <laughs> I hate getting slowness. What is this? We did get a, a thing that popped up. It said, like, to the skies. There is a creeper in the corner. That is not good. Can we not? Oh, thank goodness. Is it just... There's redstone here. So is it... I, I'm confused. Oh, is there... Oh, there's stuff up here. Ah, okay. But this is it? It's just a stone cutter? There's got to be more to this, right? It's just a stone cutter? Oh, no. There's another door. Oh, wow. It's like an entire base here. Who are you? Oh, it's got, it's got flint and steel. I'm breaking that. They got, they got flint and steel on them. They can set this whole thing ab ablaze. Oh, is this a reference? Please don't be a reference to a, oh man. That would be too funny. They drop magma, what? I am so confused right now. There's another one. I'm more afraid of the fire, like them actually using that fire. Okay, this, uh, uh-huh. Okay, am I missing something? Is that like a trap that's... Okay. Whew! I was like, is that a trap? I'm so confused. I seen there was a... Oh! Get out of here with that. Ugh. There's so much more. How is there this much? In this balloon? I don't even understand at this point. <gasps> I've tripped it. I've tripped... Um... Whatever was there has now been tripped. Um, I don't know if I should be scared or not. Hopefully it wasn't. Okay, I guess it was to open this door. There are better loot chests over here. At least I have a place over here that I can just chill out. <laughs> As I can destroy these guys. I am so scared that this stuff is trapped. Oh, okay. Take a breath. And... Wow. Okay. Good stuff. It's basically the same loot, though, that we have been experiencing. So it is it is close to all the same things that 
I've just been used to. But still, like, emeralds I'll take, golden apples I'll take. We have all these music discs. I have all of that stuff. Don't really need that. Now, this, I don't really know what this was meant to do. It's an observer with dispensers and arrows. I guess you were meant to get shot with arrows? And then this right here, luckily is not trapped. But this sends a signal here, which I guess comes from this. So yeah, you're, you were supposed to get shot while walking through here, but for some reason it didn't trigger. Yeah, it activates some pistons, which would have scared me. I would have thought it was gonna blow up. Oh my goodness. And yeah, basically some, some general loot. Nice. This though, I'm, yeah, I never know. I always want to break this. This is note blocks. Oh, my redstone. Okay. Now, this is something I like to see. Like, I like that. that that's, that's actually useful. So I went ahead and finally made the path over here that I wanted to make for quite a while. And I want to utilize this space because I think this island looks beautiful right here. So we now have an extension that leads over here and over here. We're slowly building up our beautiful landscape. Um, but I was thinking... I. How about we have a thing that's set up where we can have both of these portals basically set up on this island and then decorate this island to look like the, the materials that come from this dimension. I think that would be kind of cool. So, I mean, to start off, we're going to have this one over here and we're probably going to put the, uh, the other one over here. So I have enough to build a full size framed portal, which you don't have to because it seemed like it was built uh, to be able to handle... Uh, you know, not being the full-size portal. Um, I think I should put it in the ground, though. I think that only makes sense. So, yeah, we're going to build it up just like a regular portal. So, one, two, and three, and then four. And then just continue it over. And then, bam. Awesome. So, we have a portal built. It is ground level. Um, however, that may change. Because, uh, like, when we start building around here, we're probably going to, you know, dig the ground out and make this area sort of look like the dimension. However, I have not been to this dimension, um, and I think I'm probably going to need a torch or two. I think we should probably bring some torches with us. Also, I need to clear out my inventory because it is an absolute mess from all of our adventuring. And when we come back, we're going to see what this uh, dusk dimension looks like. So I'm all torched up. I got all of my stuff sorted. Let's check this place out. I'm, I'm really excited to see what this is uh, all about. Ooh, pretty portal. I'm really hoping this dimension is not all jacked up with shaders, but we'll find out once we teleport in here. Oh, it definitely is. It's just like the tw twilight. <laughs> Notice with shaders, the uh, the ceiling is a little bit weird. It's very similar to how the Twilight Forest is um, and why uh, it's kind of unfortunate like when you utilize these type of shaders. It, it, yeah, you're not going to have good luck with a lot of custom dimensions, but hey, look at the bright side. At least we don't have to look too much up at the the sky. So I changed some things up, got the shaders looking a lot better here, and now we no longer have to worry about the sky. So, what does this dimension honestly have to offer for us? What what are we looking for when it comes to this dimension? I am honestly really curious. Now it is pretty dark, so I'm holding a torch. Um definitely gives off uh now a more sinister vibe what is this stuff this is lunar stone so i'm wondering how do we get access to the other dimension that is always day and super bright because that's a dimension that i'm really really interested in um this one is supposed to have some stuff but we have to find the materials first and i wonder if the underground potentially has it oh god what is this no no a, noc a Nocto fly? What? A, a, a who, to, who to fly? What? What did it drop? Bug guts. Oh, we could trade a villager summoner with that. Okay. All right. So we have a little bit of exploring to do, I see. Got to figure this out. Also, waystones are 100% going to gonna need to be a thing because there's no way... I am going to be able to uh, find my way back once I lose our portal. Now, this may seem a little bit cheaty, but I mean, technically, we still have the ability to fly. 
So us traveling around this dimension shouldn't be too difficult, honestly. So I found this open patch of, of grass here. Look at this. There's a cosmic fox. You were super cute. Can I pick you up? Like, oh, I could pick you up. I just wish I could take you cross dimensionally with me. Oh, you're adorable. Absolutely adorable. I wish I could take you with me. All right, let's see. I mean, I guess maybe they can go through the portal. I don't, I don't actually know. Oh, ooh, that's a, a venom spider. Nice. All right. I hate poison spiders. You know what? Get out of here. They're definitely stronger. I'm hitting them with a pretty powerful sword here. And it's just really not doing much at all to them. Yeah, this dimension's slowly becoming not okay for me. <laughs> I hate bugs. I hate them. Get out of here. What are you? Are you trying to stomp on me or something? Oh, it is. It lit me on fire. Get out of here. Quit. Do you drop something good at least? Oh, more bug guts. Great. That's all I needed. And there's that thing over there. I... Oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That spider can shoot venom. Is this a venom spider? I didn't know it could shoot at you. And there's... Um... What appears to be gators? Okay, shade monitor. Okay, so they're monitors. Okay. Hopefully they're not hostile. They don't really seem hostile, which is good. And is this ore? Oh, thank goodness. We oh, wait. Is this going to take a while? To this is going to take a while to mine. But, hey, look. We actually found something that's useful. Now, this is kind of beautiful. However, I do have this, this thing chasing me still. Oh, God. So I was just wandering here and look at this. Like, okay, let's, let's toss a torch down here. Let's see. Okay. I think we should be able to glide down there because I want to be able to potentially mine stuff that's down there. It, I mean, we don't have a lot of stuff on us and I'm thinking there's going to be more ore. What in the world is that? Also, I don't want to have to deal with that. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to Yeah, let's, let's just go down here and see and just hope that there's nothing like that down here. Okay. A lot bigger than I thought it was going to be down here. Also a lot darker. Wow. First of all. Oh, that thing is down here. Oh, no. But there's other ore down here. What is like this is other stuff. Um horizonite. Oh it, can we not mine this? Like it showed that our pick is okay for it. <gasps> We're not getting anything for mining it. Do we need a, a particular tool? Is it same with this? Okay, 99% seems this tool doesn't work well. Or work as well in this area. Huh. Oh, no, no. It seems this tool doesn't work as well in this area. So, yeah. I guess we're going to have to progress through the tool chain? In this mod? I'm, I'm down with that. Is that a spawner? <gasps> There's straight up a spawner there. Kill it. Kill the spawner. I don't, oh, we can't. We can't kill the spawner because I can't break the... <gasps> I can break it. Oh, I'm trying to break it. Come on. Let me break it. I'll deal with you guys later. I love how I'm not taking any damage. Poof. Okay. Whew. I want to be able to access these chests. You guys, please, just chill. Ants. What are these infested swarmers? Oh, man. I'm glad we have decent armor. I am so glad and thankful for this armor we have on. Oh, what's in here? Oh, thank goodness. Actually, tools that work. And we just got something else. Some adequate gemstone. This is a plain Jane chest, but this has... This is promising. Oh, it can actually mine. Can it mine this? Oh, it can. Very nice. Oh, that's lava. <laughs> oh, that almost got me. 
And this is more of that, that stone. Okay. Huh, and there's a lot of stuff down here. I definitely want to... Oh, we can't... Oh, I'm breaking stuff that we can't break. That looks horrifying as well. That looks like a hive or something. I'm just... I'm having too much fun here. Cinder stone. This is cool. All right, I'm putting a waystone down here. We've got to come back to this. This is... This is too cool not to come back to. What in the world? Okay. Yep, I'm having too much fun. We must head back. <laughs> Lots more adventuring is going to be done, done in the next couple episodes for sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And uh, of course, I do want to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video. And that huge thanks is going to go to Lunacat. Thank you so much for your amazing support. And uh, guys, guys, we got a lot more adventuring to do. So I hope you guys come along with me in the next episode where hopefully we can figure out how to get to the other dimension as well. Lots of exploring along the way. And guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already and give this video a huge thumbs up. That really helps go a long way with these videos. And guys, I'll see you in the next one. And as always, thanks for watching.